Now, I know what you're thinking. Why does this World War II tank look so strange? When you look at this M3 Lee, the first things your eyes are drawn to are these two weird cannons. However, they're not the weirdest things about this. That'd be these weird little bumps that you can see all across the whole vehicle. These are called rivets, and tankers absolutely hated them. Why may you ask? Well, if an enemy tank shell hit the outside of this vehicle, these rivets on the inside would explode. Practically letting off a shrapnel grenade on the inside of your tank, exactly where seven people would have been sat. You're probably thinking, well, if it was such a bad idea, then why did they use Well, because it takes quite a while for a war economy really to start getting going and as you can imagine the allies still needed tanks relatively quickly you've got to get factories going and you've also got to train the workforce on how to use these new techniques for the tanks but thankfully the allies had the shipping industry where we'd been using rivets to create the hulls of ships for many many years so rivets seemed like a good choice and although they were in some aspects you know they were relatively easy to put together and we already have a workforce trained on how to use them the tank industry eventually came up with much better ideas which a lot of which we're still using the modern day tanks today but I must say using these rivets has made a very interesting and weird looking vehicle one of which you don't really see very often at all now i'm going to shut up and let you listen to this absolute beaut of an engine <laughs> 